Hello everyone and welcome to Sinful Gaming. I hope you're all doing well, I hope you're all staying safe, and most of all, I hope you're all fighting that war against the grey. Today's video, we're going to talk getting started with Warhammer Age of Sigma, and today we're going to take a look at the Skaven of Clan Mulder. In this video, we're going to go through exactly what a Clan Mulder Skaven army is all about and what it can do, and then we'll take a look at where we can begin with our force, and then some later purchases to expand upon those initial units. We'll then finish off the video with a little sample army list for you to use as some inspiration to create your own Skaven Clan Mulder army list, or indeed copy ours if that's what you wish to do. And so, talking Clan Mulder. Now, Skaven have had a big change up in the current book. You can now freely mix the clans, so you definitely don't have to stick to any clan in particular anymore. But Clan Mulder is sort of like a sub faction within Skaven. They don't have any true sub factions, rather, you can sort of pick and mix. And how it works is for every Clan Mulder hero in your army, this allows you to take a single unit of Rat Ogres or Giant Rats as battle line. At the start of the game as well, you can take a Help in Abomination and give it one of the prize creation upgrades. And if you include three or more Master Molders in your army, every Help it in your army can instead have one of these prize creations. Though, you can never double up on the prize creation or put two on the same Help it Abomination. You've got a bunch of different options with these prize creations. You can go to having a wounds characteristic of 16 and a save of 4+. plus. You can have a move of 7. In addition, charge rolls are automatically 7, getting rid of the random movement. You can add one to your avalanche of flesh ability rolls. You can get the ability to heal in every hero phase. You can re-roll the dice when you use your warp stone spikes. And you can re-roll the dice when you use your too horrible to die ability as well. Some really cool and varied abilities for your clan molder Skaven. And so, the place to start is, of course, a Master Molder, the only hero option available for Clan Molder. What's cool about a Master Molder, though? So, for starters, we have the cool ability, Crack of the Whip. Uh, this allows us to give plus one wound rolls to a friendly Skaven Clan Molder pack unit, wholly within 13 inch, and also add a three to the run and charge rolls of that unit as well, which can be pretty cool. The Master Molder in your hero phase can also pick a Clan Molder pack unit and heal D3 wounds allocated to that unit if he's within 3 inch of them. He's got a couple of attacks, but he's not really a combat hero in any way. And he's got a cool command ability called Unleash More More War Beasts, where when you use this command ability and this unit's on the battlefield, a Clan Molder pack unit was destroyed. If you do so, roll a dice on a 3 plus, a new replacement unit identical is set up on the battlefield. Pretty cool. Um, ability. He's got 5 wounds, 5 up save. There's some ways to make him more survival with some of the command traits in the army, but he is where you need to start your clan model force with. Now, going alongside this model, Giant Rats, I think, are the place to go. They're a really fun and interesting unit. Now, they come in units of 6, which doesn't sound like a lot for them. However, they have some cool abilities. So they've got two attacks, fours and fours, no rend, damage one. And got to remember that Skaven do get extra range if they have more models in the unit. You improve the rend characteristic of this unit's vicious teeth attacks, which is their only attack, by one if there's three to five models. Improve the characteristic by two instead if they have six or more models. So if you've got six or more models in the unit, all of a sudden their two attacks at fours and fours are rend two, damage one, which is pretty good. Now, with that said, let's take a look at some other units we can use to expand upon this initial force with. And so the next unit to take a look at is the Rat Ogres. These have definitely seen a nice increase in power. They've got six wounds each and a four plus base save. Pretty solid unit. They do come in units of two, so there's not a lot of sort of large units going to be in your clan Molder army. You're going to have a lot of small units, but not so many large units, which is okay in its own right. They have a nice ranged attack they can take for one in every two models can have a warp fire gun, which is 16 inch range, D3 attacks, 4s, 3s, Ren 1, damage 2. And then they've got four attacks each in combat with 3s and 3s, Ren 1, damage 2. And if you ever get an unmodified 6 to hit with this unit, they will instead cause two hits instead of one. Alongside this unit, we have the Pack Masters, which are sort of like lesser versions of your Master Molder. They are not a hero option, they're just another unit option for the army, and they come in units of three. You can have a variety of different weapon options on them, though their real ability comes with the fact that they're a cheap way to get more Crack the Whip abilities in your army to give that plus three run and charge, and also the plus one a wound, to your pack units throughout the army. 
We then have the big monster himself, the Helpy Abomination. 14 wounds standard and a 5 up save, though, as we talked about with the prize mutations, this can be increased. And most of his abilities can be increased in some way, thanks to those prize creations. He's got a decent amount of attacks. Six attacks out of his gnashing teeth at threes and threes, rend minus three, damage two. And nice six attacks at threes and threes, rend one, damage three out of his flailing fists. On top of this, he has the avalanche of flesh ability, which you do not use the normal attack sequence for, but instead roll a number of dice equal to the number of models that are in range of its three inch. You can reroll any dice if his unit made a charge move in the same turn, and for a roll that is equal to or greater than the Avalanche of Flesh ability, which is on full health, a 2+, plus, the target unit suffers a mortal wound. So a really good horde killer here. He's got Regenerating Monstrosity, where in your hero phase he can heal d3. The Warpstone spikes each time this unit is affected by a spell or endless spell on a 4+, plus, it ignores the effects, and he's too horrible to die, enables him to either get back up or explode into rat swarms. Speaking of rat swarms, they are the last unit to talk about. You've got four wounds on each base of these, which is pretty cool. And the nice ability about rat swarms is if your opponent doesn't kill the unit off, they actually return a model back to their unit at the end of every phase. So they can be pretty cool. So they've either got to do the eight wounds or you just bring a model back to the unit, which is pretty cool. And so here we have our sample army list for the Skaven from Clan Molder. Now, we've gone, obviously, Skaven, we're in Gur, because that's the season we're playing in. Now, for the grand strategy, we've got Defend What's Ours. This means there's going to be no enemy units inside our territory at the end of the game. For a Triumph, we've gone with Bloodthirsty. I really don't think you need the plus one of wound in here. There's plenty of ways to get plus one of wound in a Skaven Clan Molder army anyway. So, Inspired's not the most important one. And you're going to probably have Command Point Spare to get some Battleshock Immunity anyway. Now we have gone for the Command Trait Horde Master, which is really cool, where once per battle, if this general is on the battlefield, when a friendly pack unit is destroyed, you can say they will call more creatures to the fore, and if you do so, on a 3+, plus, a new replacement unit is added to your army. This is pretty cool. It's just another thing on top of his command point. It's essentially a free one for the turn. He's then got the Rabid Crown, which is giving out plus one to hit for all friendly clan model fighting beasts and clan model pack units, wholly within 13 inch of the bearer. We then have a second Master Molder because we do need to be able to get two different battle line options in. Now those two battle line, we've got a unit of 18 giant rats. This is really going to be probably one of the big hammers in the army. Um, they're reinforced and they're also in a Bounty Hunter's Battalion. Now, the reason why we've gone for six giant rats as our second battle line, say instead of the unit of rat ogres we've got in the army, is because we want to try and get some veterans into the unit. We need some Galatian veterans to be able to compete with those objectives, so we've got a unit of giant rats in there for a second Galatian veteran unit. Now, we've then got another unit of six giant rats, which is not battle line, uh, and then we've got our two rat ogres and three pack masters, which are going to be our other two bounty hunter units. You're going to actually equip those pack masters all right, I think, with some of the weapons, and the reason we've gone for them as our bounty hunters, say instead of one of the other packs of giant rats, is because they're probably going to be the pack master unit that is going to be with our unit of 18 giant rats, so we're going to be able to get them in combat together, they're going to be much more up front, while, you know, our other units of giant rats, really our smaller units, are going to want to be in our own backfield. So, you could put on something like the things catch it give you know one attack at damage three per model so three attacks at damage three nine damage potentially coming out of the unit at rend one could be an interesting thing if you went for a whole bunch of things catches um and then we've got as you can see the other unit of pack masters in there the six giant rats the rat ogres and that's the rest of our other units and lastly the help it abomination for me i like tough and sinews i think the extra wounds and the extra save are really important uh, this, of course, changes your characteristics, so it means you can get down to that all-important 3-up for your save. The healing one is probably my second favourite, uh, being able to heal every turn, but I think one heal a turn, and then you can have your Master Molders heal him as well is nice. Now, as mentioned, the Bounty Hunters Battalion, we've got 995 points spent, both our reinforcement points used, no allies, 80 wounds is pretty solid, all things told, at this points value, and then 8 drops, as mentioned. So, with that, let us know what you think of Clan Molder in the new edition. I'd love to hear what you all think of the new Clan Molder army. Let us know down in the comments below. 
And so that's the end of the video. Thank you all for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And drop us a comment down below letting us know what you enjoyed about the video. If you'd like to come help support the channel in another way, you can do so either by joining our Patreon or YouTube members or grabbing some channel merch off our merch store on Teespring, which is on our YouTube store as well. You can also come chat with me and other members of our little community here and our Discord server, which is linked down in the video's description, along with the Patreon and YouTube members links. And as a special shout out to all those Patreons and YouTube members, we'd like to give them all a shout out. So thank you to our Patreons, Christian Weir, James, Soren, Greenskins Gaming, AJC, Kenny Lowell, Outer and Shot First, Andrew Bowen, Nathan Fee, The Rising Ape, Cool Dynamic, Agu, Anthony B, Anton Nielsen, JJ Austrian, Average Wargamer, Dome, Mark Harvey, James Cater, Derek, and Jarpy390. And a special thank you to our YouTube members, Green Roost Gaming, Kenton Young, Chris Wallace, Ronya, Locke Lorick, The Johnny84, David Ellsworth, Revenar, Wolfric Nick, Broken Chef, Ariana Edwards, Sean Scott, Pink Nico Fire, and Robin Mankiller as well. Lastly, a special thanks to Lady Witch Fox Art, who does all the amazing artwork for the channel, and to everyone who comes on the channel and helps us create everything we do. Thank you all for watching. Once again, everyone, stay safe, stay well, and most of all, keep fighting that war against the great. Ciao for now.